A new season came. Jim, as a teller of the company, was assigned to plan a new program. The manager has approved the project portfolio of building a new plant in their factory. And the plant was designed to be built in 405 days. The program called for an engineer to monitor on site, and he would be tipped a meal allowance of $72 per day. How much would the company pay for meal allowance in total? We have learned about many types of multiplication. This time, we found something new. Different from factors with zeros on the right side, we have zeros in the middle of the factors. How shall we deal with them? This is, in fact, a special case of the two-digit multiplication we have learned before. Don't worry, because it is even easier. Let's again first place 405 on top and 72 on the bottom, with 5 and 2 on the same digit place and a multiplication sign and a horizontal line below. Multiplication with each digit in 405 with 2 is the first calculation we should do. However, you may find a 0 in 405, since 0 times 2 still gives 0. We write 0 on the tens place. This gives 810. Again, we do the same step to 405 times 70, and 0 times 7 equals 0 again. We have 28,350 as another partial product. After all of this, we sum up numbers on each digit place to find the final product. By regrouping every digit, we have 29,160 as the final product. Jim reported the total meal allowance to the company. However, he was told by the manager that the plan of the program had been revised a bit and the duration of building development was lengthened. The new duration of the program was 425 days with an additional cost of $9,024 per day. Jim was required to calculate the total extra cost. So, the equation to calculate now is 9,024 times 425. We are now again doing a multi-digit multiplication with zeros. By multiplying 9,024 with 5, 20, and 400 respectively, we get three partial products, 45, 120, 180, 480, and 3,609,600. Remember, the zero times anything gets zero again. However, since 24 times 5 gives 120, the 1 was brought to the hundreds place in 9,024 times 5. Thus, we don't have a zero on the hundreds place of 45,120. But we have a zero on the thousands place of 180,480 and zero on the ten thousands place of 3,609,600. Thus, finally, Jim found the total extra cost the company needed to pay was $3,835,200. Hey guys, did you find the correct answer?